You got only one day to buy the Ainuyar cloak that looks pretty awesome and is one of the only red cloaks in the game on the mythical status. Although that prime pack was actually extended, so it's still available. I will tell you everything you need to know in this video. And also after that Ragnar pit update with Ubisoft saying that the item that we find in the pit will be interactable very soon. There are like other sort of glows in the game that could mean something for the future as well. So I want to go over them. A ton to go over. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. JLo won one of my recent Helix Credit Pack giveaways. And this is also the reason I do these giveaways. To see people happy. And to give also people who would have never paid for extra stuff an option to still get it. And you can be the randomly selected winner of my current giveaway by entering via the link in the pinned comment. And these giveaways are for 2300 credits and are for subscribers of the channel only. I will announce the winner tomorrow during the weekly reset video. Okay, now let's start with Reda. And to be fair, it's actually pretty cool that this is now the second time this week that Reda is selling something cool in the daily selection. Did he learn from his mistakes and up the chance for cool things? Maybe. Today we can namely buy the Einar Yar Hood for 120 Opal. And as you might know, I'm a fan of red, so having this is awesome. And there's blood all over it, as the Einar Yar of course reverse to warriors who died and are then brought to Valhalla with the Valkyries. The stats are not that great, sure the extra attack after each kill on paper is nice, but as we discussed before, I don't think you will actually notice the attack difference that much. So it will be a cool visual option for now, especially nice when the visual customization system and releases later on so only buy it if you really dig the look i think you will wear it a lot because tomorrow we of course have another weekly reset with four potential cool items there will also be at least one or two nice items that might be worth the opal so again get it if you really like the look and have a ton of opal otherwise it's i think smarter to save it for potential cool items tomorrow and by the way if you haven't claimed the twitch prime promotion yet they extended it till february 12th so you only got a few days left to claim it this outfit also has a red cloak i think it looks even better than the Einar outfit so if you have amazon prime and did not claim this pack yet then totally do so i will leave a link in the video description it's pretty easy to do so yeah do it if you haven't already before we look at something real interesting, I first wanted to share this clip from Rick Evans, who reached out via my Twitter, just like you can. The link is also in the video description. He found a fun thing to do in Valhalla, namely catch a rock and then throw it back to one of the Goliath enemies. And do this over and over again until the Goliath dies. And we can do this with spears of course. As we also see in the missile reversal skill video. You of course need this skill to be able to throw back items to enemies. But it can really be a ton of different things. Because I was also surprised to be able to throw back a bomb that a Zealot tossed my way. It did not do a ton of damage but it's still fun. And you can of course also do this with incoming arrows. Just hit the parry button. The moment the arrow was supposed to hit you to actually shoot the arrow back. It's really one of the most awesome skills in Valhalla. In my previous news update video, I gave you an update on Ragnar's pit and how Ubisoft says that with the next update, we should be able to interact with that glow in his pit, so likely get Ragnar's dagger that has already been leaked. So now you would think that other glows that are in the game also mean that we should be able to interact with it, right? And sometime back in the Joraptor Discord, we have Rasta noting that he or she found this exact glow in Finland at Eivor's grave you of course find there. No big spoilers because of course already during the early modern day section you can see that Layla has this cabin close to where Eivor is buried and this location is also in the Animus in Vinland. I think Finland opens up after the London arc and they can always travel back via the Atlas and then in the Vinland map it's near the fast travel point so very easy reachable put a marker here too and then just make your way down the mountain to eventually reach it and if you then use Odin's sight you will see that just like at Ragnar's pit there's this glow indicating that there might be an interactable item here that we cannot interact with right now so maybe this also bugged and Ubisoft will then eventually fix it also like meditating near it and trying different times of day don't work so, curious if this will also lead to something later on. Let's hope that this item that might be linked to this won't stay in Vinland, like the Vinland armor set. 
Although I'm sure we will be able to take the Finland armor set to England at some point. But there's more. Andrew reached out on Twitter with another interesting glow. Although this seems to be part of a mission thanks to the color that is used. And Joyce actually while playing found this as well. It's over here on the map in Grand Bridge Shire. And there are some enemies here that you want to kill first. And then you find this equipment that glows but that you cannot interact with. And maybe this was part of that main story arc that could totally be possible. Where you have to figure out who is the traitor. I never found the ship that was supposed to give you a clue. So maybe that is linked or it's something else. Of course your input is more than welcome in the comments down below. And then there's another interesting spot as well. This one is over here on the map in Essex. And many people reached out about this since launch. But I never really thought it was something. But now that we have Ragnar Spit also being broken this might be something as well so it's near the outpost and then you want to enter this well and climbing down inside the well you find a chest some iron ore but more interesting is this corpse with a familiar loot icon above it and for this i had to go back to an older origins video where i showcased a feature to highlight all the lootable objects in the area and well there you see this loot icon as well so it's made its way into valhalla I haven't paid too much attention to this, but I don't think it's like very common in Valhalla, right? So maybe this also is something we should be able to interact with, but that is broken right now. And for some reason, this skeleton seems frozen. It seems to be like snow. It's likely nothing. I'm just too focused on Skadi's blade because just like Ragnar's dagger and Noden's arc, this weapon is also already in the game. But we don't know how to get it. So hopefully that mystery will be solved soon. As always, I will keep you up to date here. So totally subscribe for more Valhalla content. Tomorrow, the weekly reset stream. So I hope to see you there. Or if you watch this video like soon after I publish it. Then you can maybe still catch me on Twitch. I'm doing a more casual Valhalla stream there. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel in the pinned comment. So you can join if you want. And in the pinned comment, you will also find my Discord. Because of course, at the end of every Valhalla video, we look at awesome screenshots that you can send us via the dedicated pictures channel accept the rules when you want to join for the first time and then you are able to post or you can also use the valhalla raptor hashtag on twitter to share your screenshots okay joyce come in you got a laser tiger or something you <laughs> <laughs> let me know which shot you picked this time well you started off perfectly with michael over on discord who got into a fight with a very interesting yeah. animal. I mean, where's the glowing coming from? I love how the light is almost straight in the middle and the eye is ready to attack. I mean, could this effect come from, like, can you parry an incoming attack from an animal? I don't, I, I think so. And then maybe with the photo mode, they like changed it a bit. I, f I think it's a very like creative shot. That's for yes. sure. Next up, William Dorsey over on Twitter went into photo mode showcase pose with Eivor showing off a uh, shield. I uh, don't remember which is awesome. It's well, the in Blood combat, Wolf, I think. Blood the Blood Wolf? Wolf? Yeah. It looks, it looks amazing. While mm -hmm. in combat with the Excalibur sword, what I love about this shot is the choice for background area because the snow, the red and gold in the shield really stands out. Also, the tattoos on Eivor's face are interesting. I wonder from which scheme that is. And finally, KB the Hun 90 Whoa. is literally on fire with Eivor aiming the Gungnir spear while in midair. I love the contrast between the warm colors of the burning sensation and the darkness of the storm in the background. Must be a very fireproof armor set or upgraded to the max and did a great shot. <laughs> yeah, in Odyssey we had an armor set that was like, you, you could like be on fire and not take damage. So maybe they will do that for Valhalla one day. It's a, another creative shot. So thanks for everyone for sending your shots. Again, send them and you might be at the end of the next Valhalla video. Of course, subscribe for way more Valhalla content. And totally check out our previous video that you can watch by clicking on the screen. For now, we will speak to you next time and goodbye. Goodbye.